South Florida. Man, five star James. I don't care what stars they give you. You're five star. You've been a five star. I was just much part there. Listen, man, University of Miami fans want to know one thing. Do they do does University of Miami have a chance to get James Wood? Definitely do have a chance. Welcome to South Florida. When you when you when you on the field, is it pregame? Like, is it ever? You ever? Are you ever afraid? Does you ever feel fear, or do you ever feel pressure? Nervous, nervous. You ever feel pressure? Not one bit. No, no, none of that. No. Who's your who's who's been your tough defender? Like, who's guarding you the tough? Yeah, who's tough for you? I don't see nobody. I knew nobody. He was gonna give it the damn hood. I'm a playmaker. I just, I, I love receiving. I love to catch the ball. I love to go over people's head. Yeah. You know I mean? So I just got to do what I do. University of Miami, they land you, and then they land the number one, we call him football player, number one player in the nation, James Williams. Yeah. Both playing the same position, right? How do you envision that working? Are they telling you how this going to work? Or? Uh, well, I feel like me and James, two different safeties. Uh-huh. And I'm more of the ball hogging safety. He's more of the... Rangey playing like you couldn't say like in the box, but at the striker position, strong safety. Right. And I'm more with the free safety. So I already know in practice that's gonna just build a great competition. And when the game comes, it's gonna be easy. Yes, it's I know we go hand in hand because it's like like we're the same person. Right. So he has like his strengths and weaknesses, and I have my strengths and weaknesses. And we're gonna just he can feed off of me, learn how to I guess be more of the free safety, and then I can learn off of him, be more of like a I'm close to the closer right. to the box safety, right. so I feel like we're just gonna make each other better. Yeah, James James um played free safety. He wanted to play free safety. He he was big on that. But James don't never be back at free safety. James be <laughs> James be closer to the line. The linebacker sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that I mean that's his that's, that's him yeah. helping his team win. That's his chess. Yeah, that's it. That's him playing chess with the team. I told totally yeah. him to get. I, I now I did. I covered James since he was that big. Bro. I've known him. I've known him all his life. I just feel like. Every time it's, it's just man on man. If if they wins, if he wins the battle, then that goes to play. He doesn't right. break on the run, or if this person like doesn't take that step, or certain certain things. It just I feel like you beat your man every play. Right. And you got the best chance to stop any team, or vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. Five star. Lean on the team. Six twelve. 276 pounds. Yeah, like, after that, I just started going crazy. Tackles after tackles. Yeah, the first play was like a tackle for loss. For like six. Yeah. Oh, they didn't touch you. Like, <laughs> yeah, what, like they did explain not. to me, though. Like, what, what is that about? Like, how do they not? You 6'5", 300 pounds. Is it something? Is it a swim move or something you do? Like, they don't see you? You yeah. teleporting? What's I'm going fine. on? I'm too fast for a long. They don't realize you that yeah. fast when the game starts. Like, I'm going to be the best player on the field. Like, I just gotta show the world, like I'm the true fifty. I'm the next fifty-six of the next. I'm gonna just go crazy this year, like show people like Wawa fifty-six, like show show them like I want to take care of my mom. I want to put in a big house, stupid cars, big pool in the backyard, put on for my brothers, my nieces and nephews, like coaches. I think all of them boys for like. Having me here at this like position that I'm in now, cause like it's a hard work and dedication. Without all of them to guide me in the right path, I wouldn't be here today. So I thank all of them for like helping me out. Like, yeah.
Listen, you know the story. Working a job, I ain't like retire. If you didn't know my story, you knew somebody's story. You know what I'm saying? I was a correction officer 13 years, retired. Decided I was going to invest in myself, invest in some coaching, invest in some knowledge, and take matters in my own hand. Um, I took my retirement and I had to switch it over to an investment account, which is basically the market. Corona hit, took a chunk of my money. And if you're if you're in an investment in any in any retirement situation, if your money is an investment, you know exactly what I'm saying. When coronavirus hit, 30% boom, of your money gone. And most people don't understand stocks, none of that. So say they don't know how to recover from that. So I was on my way out. So it was no looking back. So I went through with my plan. I invested in some coaching. I invested in some, some education. Basically invested in myself, man. I bet on myself. What about the show you happened Tuesday, happened in one day? The possibilities, man, if you just get a little help and take your finances in your own hand and get a small understanding of what's going on, the possibilities are endless. I would have never had a chance to do this at a job. Got any questions, man, DM me. I told you I was going to let y'all walk with me. I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to show y'all the wins and the losses. But yesterday was a win. Check it out. Listen, you know the story. Working a job, I ain't like. What's good, man? <clears throat> what's good? What's good? What's good? I'm kind of losing my voice, man. What the heck going on? What's good, man? I'm D. I'm about to jump in this thing, talk about everything from Bitcoin to ball. Uh, that was two years ago. That was two years ago. That was kind of like when I first left Corrections. Um, and I think I was still actively trading. I hadn't even got my retirement yet. I think I was still actively trading. And that was just one day. That was that 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 nine thousand dollars was in one day of trading, but I was trading my retirement, which was like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars at the time, hundred and thirty thousand. I don't know if that was before or after I made the thirty thousand. Um, <clears throat> as a video I made, I was like, you know, that was two years ago, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm here now. At that point in that time, I didn't know. I knew I was going to invest in football field. I knew I was going to learn how to trade. Um, I, I, and I didn't know. I didn't know how. What else I was gonna do? I just knew I was better than um, being a CEO, having people I felt was incompetent or wasn't smarter than me telling me what to do. Uh, and I felt that if I'm sitting in my in the old folks' home at 70, 75, 80, and I don't go all in with Footballville, something that I created, this this thing. I would have a lot of regret. That's how I felt. I felt like I have a lot of regret. I felt like I feel like I was a pump. I didn't go hard. I was afraid. And I just I retired at 13 years and then COVID started. <laughs> so what's up, man? Let's jump in this thing, bro. Listen. What's good? Let me know where y'all boys from. <clears throat> you join IOD too soon. Okay, so I'm late. Yeah, this, this, where's the $20? They get in for $20, then they got to pay $35 for the rest of the thing. I mean, they get in for $20. It's just $15, bro. It's $15. Everything going to sell every now and then. I don't see y'all going back to the store every time with y'all clothes talking about, oh, man, y'all don't put my shirt on sale. Hey, no. Take this back. So I was late today, right? I was late. So until the end of the show, you can get an IOD squad for $20. Because I was late. This thing gonna start at 11 30, man. And I'm and I'm and and, and 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 I'm on that. So I'm I'm gonna I'm slap myself on the hand. So to the end of the show, you can get an IOD squad for $20. So I'm gonna take the link. I'm gonna put the link in the chat like I always do. Um 786-459-4999 if you text me. I'm going to put the link in the chat. 
Only to the end of the show, though, dog. You know what I'm saying? Only to the end of the show. Because I was late. That's on me. Shout out to Synergy Sweets, man. Um, go check Synergy Sweets out. SynergySweets.com, man. Go check out on Instagram <clears throat> some of the best, best, best cakes and cupcakes and you're going to find. So listen, man. Let me put this link in here. IOD Squad. You can get it only for $20 a day. So you'll be able to be, get first NFTs. Uh... The Chase Smith interview will probably get released in there first. Then the members in the group will get it. And then it'll get released to the public on Sunday. Chase Smith interview, fine, dog. It's fine, dog. I think it's going to take us to the next level. I see what the little promo did. And shout out to everybody that shared the promo, man, that liked the promo, that shared it. Um, like I say, bro, y'all help, us, y'all help us a lot. Y'all are part of everything we do. We we can't do it. We, we we like we can't do it without y'all. Like we can't do it without fans. I know y'all hear people say that all the time, but we can't push forward without fans. Like I can't get 80,000 80, subscribers. I can't get to hundred thousand without y'all. So shout out to everybody in the group. Me shout out to everybody that that shared it. I know I brought the group in tight and we talked about it uh, about Chase Smith and the big announcement that's coming um, and what 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 we need to do or uh, how they could help us. Um, with Chase Smith. Um, the interview will drop the 27. The IOD squad will probably get it tonight. Group me will probably get it sometime tomorrow, and then it'll, it'll go out um, to the public on Sunday. Uh, that's, that's the same way the NFTs are going to go. They're going to go the same way. Um, so listen, man. Leesburg, Florida, Bat- Boy, Baton Rouge. How y'all Baton Rouge, man? Y'all Baton Rouge, Atlanta. Tell me this. All y'all, all y'all, a lot of y'all must be Hurricane fans. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all of y'all, y'all are from Miami or y'all just Hurricane fans? From Baton Rouge. <laughs> Most of y'all are from Miami. But I know that's why y'all are here. I think, I mean, well, well, 50,000 of the subscribers on YouTube came from Footballville. So, uh, but I don't think those kids and, and stuff, I think they at work. I think they at school right now. I don't think they home. Trying to push that thing, trying to push that thing to 100,000. Come on, I'm going to put this link, I'm going to put this link up. Uh, drop some IOD squad emojis. Trying to push that thing to a hundred thousand. Been trading around seventy for a long time now. So there you go. There go the link right there. The link is pinned at the top of the comment section. I know it's a little delay on y'all in. That boy from everywhere, Brooksville, Florida. Man, where is Brooksville, Florida? What what goes down in Brooksville, Florida? I know nothing about Brooksville. Where's Brooksville, Florida? Huh? And if you IOD is investor die for the people that don't know what IOD means. Yeah, dog. Some people don't know what IOD means. Oh, you can't put that many characters, huh? Jesus Christ. Oh, I see what the problem is. Darn, the emojis is the, each emoji is is, is ten spots. <laughs> That's crazy. So there it is. There's the link pinned at the top. Pumpano, you right around the corner. Uh. North Miami, I'm Opalaka. I grew up at Opalaka. Uh, shout out to Ed's best tasting energy drink on the planet. Big move with Ed's in 2022, dog. Big move with Ed's in 2022. Shout out to Ed's, the best tasting energy drink on the planet. Uh, big things happening with Ed's in 2022. Starting Sunday. I'm not from Miami, but I'm from Florida. Blood runs through me. 
I'm from Florida City, but I live in Bradenton. I'm from Baltimore. I'm not going to like the Terps. <laughs> Why you ain't going to like the Terps, man? That's your home team, lady. So we just got Hurricane fans, Alabama, uh, Deep Lotta Hill. Um, we just got Hurricane fans all across the globe. Uh, I, 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 I guess. I'm, I'm guessing y'all here just for the Hurricanes, the ones that's here. Um, Jerome Brown, Miami legend from Brooksville. Is he? Is he from Brooksville? So there you go, man. And to the end of the show, it's $20. Um, <clears throat> I actually put up, <laughs> I actually put up. So yesterday we talked about, and we're going to get into Daryl Porter. We're going to get into Daryl Porter Jr. in a minute. Um, we put him up on the front of the morning show yesterday. I mean, sometimes, because sometimes we know things. <sighs> we, we we get wind of them. Um, and how things work is, is that uh, the names on Google and stuff in that nature, like who's ever the first out there when the name starts trending and everybody starts searching the name, um, <clears throat> you can kind of, you can kind of rise to the top. So I like the games of Kanye West play. <laughs> it's a little like that. But we put him on the front uh, uh, for a reason because we felt real highly that he was coming. Um, he did decide to come. Yes or no? Is he? Yes or no? Is he instantly the number two cornerback in the depth chart? Oh, you got to fight to Corey Couch. To Corey Couch, yeah, I think to Corey Couch is going to get it together. Yes or no? Is he instantly the number one cornerback in the depth chart? If you want to get in, man, you want to get in here, you want to call in, text me. Text me if you want to call in. I'm looking because a couple of people texted me yesterday. I send you the link, and you can get involved. Um... I see the link if you want to get involved. Mm. Uh. Also, man, y'all people jumping in, man. We got a course start next week, man, an actual course where I sit down and actually teach. Some of it's recorded already. I've already taught, and you can see how to actually read charts and things of that nature. Um, that starts next week, man. We got a few spots left. I try not to get a bunch of people because I'm not, I'm not a teacher, man, so I ain't going to be in there with 20 people. Trying to teach them. I ain't got that point yet. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to get a job with the course, 786-405-9499, you want to kind of take it to the next level, send me a text. You're trying to call in, dog, send me a text. Um, now i get you in here. Send, I'll send you the link and get you in here. Brandon took you said you finna take me. You need to look. So listen, okay, hit me up, Brandon. If 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 you want to come in and talk, you gotta watch your background, okay? So when you're not talking, mute your background, so we have a decent show. So the show won't sound like we in the warehouse. <laughs> we in the warehouse picking up sodas or something of that nature. Uh, Fat Zion Williamson got on the court yet, man? Aaron, man, Zion Williamson has locked up all my money, man. Fat Zion, man. I keep telling you, I got two cars worth $600 and $600. They graded in all. Fat Zion, I just knew Zion was going to be the man, man. Dang. Damn, Zion. I just knew that was going to be the man. So back to Daryl Porter. Um, Daryl Porter Jr. Call himself the freak. We didn't, did we recruit him coming out of high school? Like how did he end up at West Virginia? Because his daddy played there? Anything <laughs> Damn. You 
should have tackled them for me, man. You saw Zion at the food truck. That's the problem now, nah, man. You should have tackled them, dog. Oh, you want the IOD? The link, well, you on YouTube, right, Brandon? Is that the link at the top? Click the link at the top. Dang, I say that all the time. Y'all don't, when I be saying that, y'all don't know what that means. I think it's pinned at the top of the comment section. Um, You just got to click it. Darn, I say that all the time. Y'all don't know what that means. All right, let's have a tutorial. few things. Hit the like button for your boy. Hit subscribe. Let's get these likes up. We got 100 people in here, 30 likes. We should at least get the half. Hit subscribe and hit the alert bell to make sure you get alerts. I'm trying to get this thing to 100,000. And let's everybody look at the top of the comment section of YouTube. The IOD squad link is up there every time. When I say that, y'all not sure what I be talking about? <laughs> y'all not. <laughs> I said I done said it about a thousand times. Brandon talking about we know, we know, but he the main one asking for the link. Talking about how to sign up. Um, maybe you're talking about signing up for the course. I don't know. Yeah, it's up there. In the, it's not in Facebook. I don't... Could I put it in Facebook? I don't know if I could put it in Facebook. But yeah, though. Let's see. Let's see what X X X probably at uh it's Friday though. X probably at Tussies. Let me see if I got any text. I gotta see, I gotta check this thing sparingly. Okay, so back to Daryl Porter Jr. What's significant about Daryl Porter Jr. is this. Daryl Porter Jr. got a half-brother. Daryl Porter Jr. half-brother name is Marvin Jones Jr. Daryl Porter Jr. mama and Marvin Jones Shady Tree has a baby, which was the defense of Ian Marvin Jones. Daryl Porter is the, uh, I think, a linebacker played for Miami. Uh, American Heritage defensive coordinator. Um, they both have a baby from the same woman, which makes Daryl Porter Jr. and Marvin Jones Jr. have brothers. So Daryl Porter Jr. is back here in town, right? Jumped in the transfer portal, back in town here in Miami, right? Now my computer want to act up. And Daryl Porter Jr. brother, Marvin Jones, I think is at Georgia, right? Right? I'm getting this right? Now, I don't have any facts. I don't know how close they was as brothers. I know what I'm saying that's something I didn't check on why Daryl Porter was here. I can't even lie. I won't even lie to you about that. Um, that's the information I don't have. But I'm going to show you what Daryl Porter Jr. <laughs> Baby brother need to bring his ass to. <laughs> he just got to Georgia. Let the man get sick of Athens like Tyreek did. He just got there. Let him get sick of. Give him a minute. Give him a minute.
Let's pull this in here. So what he said was, what he tweeted out was, he added Marvin Jones. He added Marvin Jones, said, come live with me. That thing got 254 likes. <laughs> I don't know what Marvin Jones said back, though, but he, he then so told him, come. I don't know why he said it like that, though. Come live. Hey, come live with me. Um. <clears throat> so they must be our, they must be our cool. You know what I'm saying? They must be our cool. Now, we just recruited 8,000. We just recruited 8,000 defensive mm -hmm. ends. I know you, you, you know we did. We just recruited 8,000 defensive ends. Uh, but we would love to have old Marvin Jones Jr. Uh, I, I haven't get a, heard an update or anything of how he's doing in Georgia. Um, a lot of time when the kids go out of when they go out of town, um, the communication becomes choppy. Like they have the same mom. Yeah, you've seen their mom. Their mom has been on everything. Um, nice looking lady. I heard she's tough too. But somehow, for some reason, she's in a lot of his pictures. Like when you put him up, like for some reason, she's there. A lot. I think people just like taking pictures of them. If I had to take a guess, if I had to take a guess, I'd say people just like taking pictures of the mama. Two two five say like and subscribe. It's free, dog. Tell them two two five. Only a hater would not hit the like button right now. It's free. Only a hater wouldn't hit the like button. It's free. We got 130 people in here We're trying to get at least half the likes. Only a hater wouldn't hit the like button or hit subscribe and alert bell. Man, the street always talking about investing, though. I be wanting to hear about football. I don't listen. I ain't hitting like the street, but you were here listening to the show. Hey, no, you don't even talk about football. You don't even talk about football all the time. Man, listen, man. We got it. We do enough, fo we do enough footballing. We need to learn some other stuff, dog. So if y'all just getting in here, man, y'all just getting in here. I was late today. Rough day. Y'all reward is you can get to go on IOD squad for $20. When the show over, I'm going to log on. I'm going to take it down. It's going to be back to $35. So that's me. Got myself on the hand. The show's supposed to start at 1130, and I'm going to stick with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stick with it for numerous reasons so you guys uh, 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 can depend on me. And I want to see what it does with the algorithm. Don't hate subscribe. Yeah, I, I would love to see what it does to the algorithm um, if I come in here. So I did like a week, and I laid I laid down today. I did like a week, 1130. I, I, was, I was straight. Wednesdays we don't have a Wednesday we barely have a show because we shoot the show we shoot the Caneville show. Let's see, man, what's going what's going on in the world out here? Other than Russia bullying Ukraine. In the middle of war, who be giving these press releases in the middle of the war? They be giving like play by play, like Ukraine say Russia, Russia just sent an airstrike across the. Who? What a war! What a what a who be giving the play by play? Let's see. What's trending out here? Nathan.
Somebody, Greg Jennings called Aaron Rodgers selfish. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers has been a very selfish guy. I go back to personal experiences. His words to me were, don't be that guy. All of a sudden, it's about the money. <laughs> That's what Greg Jennings said. Man, I remember teammates that used to talk about teammates, dog. I remember teammates that used to talk about teammates. I remember, te- I don't know what happened to that, though. I remember teammates ain't used to, like, now them boys don't care, boy. Them boys will go in on each other. <coughs> Let me see. Let me make sure nobody ain't text. 78645, if you want to text, if you want to. If you want to come talk, if you want to call in the show, send the text 786405. I'll send you a link. 786405-9499. If you want to come talk, uh, want to call in the show, ask a question. Let's see. Somebody just said, Streeter, who's going to start at linebacker? You know, we got a new regime in here now, man. Who knows, man? They might get these kids coached up. You might get a new huff for somebody. We got Avery Huff. Sam Brooks Jr. is still on the roster. I don't. Anybody else still there that shouldn't be there? <laughs> Sam Brooks Jr. is still on the roster, but I heard Sam Brooks hasn't been active, dog. I don't know if he's hurt, but I just heard he hasn't been active. Uh, Tyler Johnson, Jack Hoffman, Shane Sawyer, Zach Smith, red shirt freshman. Ryan Ragone, Deshaun Troutman. Deshaun, they got Deshaun Troutman at 6'1". Deshaun Troutman looks small on the field, don't he? Tyreek Austin Cave. I don't know why Tyreek Austin Cave didn't get a shot, man. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Corey Flagg, they got him at 5'11". Avery Huff is 6'3". Wayman Steed is still here, though. If I had to take a guess, though, I would say under new regime, under under some better linebacker laws technique, <laughs> because our linebackers was kind of in no man's land. Is what I'm getting out of listening to these kids talk. And 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 and, and I would have to say, man. I don't know. Is Hodge still is Hodge still on this roster? Yeah, he's still on the roster. Who else left? Hmm. I don't know. I would have to say maybe Steed again. Um, maybe Steed flag. Hmm. I'm thinking there's only going to be two of them. I don't know. Who do I think is going to start at linebacker was the question. Rodgers and Greg Jennings have had beef for years. Cave has the best size and speed come over of any linebacker. And yeah, and Cave, a lot of people don't know about Cave. They think he's from New Jersey. Um, he actually grew up in Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he moved to New Jersey. He looks like a real linebacker on his tape, but 
he didn't sniff the field though, and they say his dad was livid. I'm surprised he's still here, to be honest. Um, Keontra, Keontra Chase, and <laughs> you think you think you think they just come in and put the young boys in there, man, and and, and move on from Sneed and Flag? Um, they gonna have to unlearn a lot of stuff, man. I think what they were being asked to do was an orthodox, an, an unorthodox technique. The linebackers were being asked to do, and they're gonna have to unlearn a lot of stuff, and that's why they kind of always looked out of sync, out of touch, no man's land. Um, because I think what they were being asked to do. Cave said, "Him and Flag are the only two middle linebackers." Yeah. Cave going to take flag spot. This must be Cave uncle in here. Who this is? Born Hustle. Cave, that's your, that's your nephew, Kick Born? <laughs> nah, bro. Cave look good on his film. I don't know why Cave. I wonder why Cave get a shot. But everybody can't get a shot. Some people got to wait their turn. But he damn sure look good on his film. And he looked like a true linebacker. He was hurt a little bit. I remember seeing him with the hurt people a lot when we would go to practice. Yeah, yeah, somebody say send a link, bro. Let's see. I'm going to bring you in right now. Somebody want to come in and talk. Somebody got a question. So if when you come in, so when you come in on, on the talk, you don't have to, you don't have to use video. You can just use your audio and make sure your background, make sure if you're not talking, you mute it and your background not too loud. Uh, yeah, you talking about you the link to come on the show or, or the IOD squad link? <laughs> I just see you both of them, dog. Figure it out. I see you both of them, man. Handy business. But no, man, my dog Chase, it's going to be hard to keep my dog Chase off the field. It is. It's going to be hard. Chris, what's going on? What's going on, Stream? What's up, bro? Shoot, not much, man. Yeah, it's going to be hard to keep Chase off the field. I keep what y'all saying. Can you see what y'all saying, linebacker? Who we lost? Gervin Hall, Bubba Bolden. I think we had to use him at linebacker. Y'all think he stay at linebacker, Keontra? I think it depends on what they decide to run. I think like a 4 two, 5 I think it's like they're going to have like a star position with the two linebackers. Yeah. Um, something like that. So... I think we lost two safeties, right? We lost Gervin Hall, we lost Bubba. Who else we lost? The great Amari Carter. <laughs> Amari Carter gone? Yeah, Amari Carter, he graduated. He, Where he going? He ran out of here. <laughs> I don't even think about it. Amari Carter out of here? Oh, man. Yeah, he ran out um, of eligibility. Yeah, I think he ought to go back to safety then, no? Maybe. I think he'll be a good fit for like a star position. I don't know how well he was in coverage though. I think he's a little bit too small for like an in the box linebacker. Yeah, I think he's a little bit too small for like an in the box linebacker. 
Yeah, he yeah. just played with he, he all heart. Um, he just played with all heart, man. So I think um, it's gonna be hard keeping Chase off the field. Chase is gonna they finna put fifteen pounds on Chase. He he gonna be like a linebacker. Gilbert Fires is gonna be like a star linebacker type. Uh, it's gonna be hard to keep Chase off the field. Sneed and those guys, I don't know, bro. I, I maybe just maybe maybe a lot of rotation going on. You guys been there for a long time, man. If they can get coached up, man, that's a lot of experience, but it's a lot of bad bad stuff they learned. You had a question, Chris? Uh so the whole I would say like I know earlier you were talking about who would start second to like I think you can pencil in Tyree Stevenson as a starter. But I wouldn't sleep on like Marcus Clark to start. I think he played good last year. Them young guys did come in and play well. Um, so you don't, you don't. So you're saying you don't think the kid that started 13 games for West Virginia comes in and instantly is the second best cornerback? I don't know if it's a if it'll be an instant thing, but I mean he do got favor with the new coach, so that could very well be a kind of a bonus because that's who recruited him to West Virginia. Right. Um, yeah. And I mean, coach like him. <laughs> it's the, the, the weirdest thing is the, the, the Corey couch thing that this man just went to the wayside. Um, that's weird. Um, Marcus Clark was Marcus Clark the one jumped up in the in the game and had the interception and dropped it and the and the, and the guy caught the touchdown. Yeah, that I think that was Clark. Head. No, I think that was Clark. Cal I just like the fact that, that he wasn't running from people to tackle. No, because they wasn't taught how to run yet. Like yeah. <laughs> all the kids that came in, <laughs> all the kids that came in was ready to play. Kids always come to the program ready to play. Tracy Howard said he was ready to play. Ja'Cory Harris ready to play. They come here ready to play, and then they get the they get yeah they get the play knocked out of them. So nah, he wasn't running yet. Yeah, he he they they I actually talked to the coaches about that man, and it was like yeah they looked like they wanted to be there. Everybody they all saw that. Yeah, I mean it was it was clear. Like you see somebody like DJ Ivy on the and the play on his side, he running the other way. Like the little kid in the in the eight U game who daddy don't force him <laughs> to play because he's trying to relive it through his son. So DJ Ivy, I don't see yeah. DJ do that a few times, man. He ran from the Clemson running back, man. He ran he from the Clemson no running back, North Carolina quarterback. He won. <laughs> he won. <laughs> I don't see DJ Abbey do that. But I ain't going to pick on DJ Abbey, man. I, I told y'all my DJ Abbey story coming out of high school, man. I ain't going to tell it no more. I don't think I am. But I told y'all my DJ Abbey story, and, I, and it made me wonder about him coming out of high school. George is the best wide receiver on the team. Damn. Remember Goldfi said George was number one wide receiver in the nation and y'all thought he was crazy coming out of high school? And nobody ain't believe him. We went to two practices and Twan said, man, George is like Jerry Rice. <laughs> <laughs> listen, man, the man Goldfi, listen, dog. The man Goldfi started working with OBJ this year, right? When he took Elijah, he took Elijah Moore to the combine. He was working with him before Elijah Moore was the combine. He met OBJ. So he started working with OBJ. I don't know. OBJ had a different season this year, right? Maybe, maybe Goofy just lucky. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but he's doing a damn good job. Who do you think will be the top? I don't think I we'll have a rotation. So I'll say like the top five receivers next year. Um, I think it's George Restrepo. I think Romello, uh, Romello balling hard right now, though. Romello got, <laughs> Romello got a baby all the way. I don't see it about three different cars, a Bentley. You know what I'm saying? I think it may be Restrepo, Romello, 
George. Um, does Redding ever get a shot? I think he might end up being a, either him or Keyshawn Smith gonna end up being an Iron Man out with Frank Lassen being there. You think Lassen gonna move him out? I, he don't got better coaching. Even if he was hurt, like he don't got better coaching the past couple of years. So I think he ends up getting the edge on them because of that. And, and that's what it seemed like. Like whoever coming here, they coming here because they've been coached up. <laughs> uh, Brashad Smith. They he's gonna they gonna have to put him on the field. Um, dog, we got some weapons though. Brashad and I think um, I don't know. Lassen got to show me, man. Lassen was last time was in Clemson. What three years? Yeah, I think that's a long time. That's a long time to be a pedestrian, man. Unless he's healthy now, I don't know. Lassen got to show me coming out of high school, man. Lassen was that deal. So the fifth one probably will be Keyshawn Smith. Um, I know a lot, a lot of y'all always been high on Keyshawn Smith. So I think I think that'll be the five. The comment section don't like Frank Lassen, but <laughs> they don't. What is what they say, dog? Everybody saying not uh not Keyshawn Keyshawn Smith gonna be he ain't going nowhere. Lassen, Romello, Keyshawn, Georgia, Restrepo. Bro, I don't know how y'all gonna keep Smith out of that lineup. I don't know. He made more plays than anybody. How we how we just throwing Romello and <laughs> he made more plays than anybody. I don't think it really matters when you get a whole new coaching staff. I think experience matters some, but uh -huh. but I don't know how much of, how much is gonna weigh. Like you get a Jacoby George, like how you if he balling the way he was. I mean, he was coming on towards the end of the season. If he progressed from that, like I don't know how you keep him on the bench. He's going to progress from that. I mean, I, yeah, it, it's going to be hard to keep him on the bench. I mean, we got a good problem. I mean, we got some depth. Uh, I'm glad it's becoming like this, but you can't tell who's going to start. Because I remember when, when Popedon was here, it was almost like the starters was obvious. It's because we had a flag football coach as a head coach. <laughs> that man was a flag <laughs> Man, we man, we had so many stories on this man, man. This man was this man was doing bad business, man. He was he won he won right, man. They'll come out in time, dog. You won right, dog. Oh, we I think the whole fan base. Well, I can't say the whole fan base because you got the cult followers, but yeah, majority of everybody knew knew what the business was when it came out of that after the FIU game. Jacoby, Jacoby George breakout season, but Smith will play a lot. Um, yeah, dogs, we Smith showed us he's gonna make them plays. Man, I for, I see people talking about Brashad. I forgot about Brashad Smith. Uh, that's what I said. Brashad Smith, he he made then he made more plays than anybody, more big plays at least. How you how, how you how you X him out? Whoever take up for many is a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Smith is a wide back. I just hope they don't run that jet, which I don't Gaddis like to run that jet sweep. So he do? Yeah, that's like one of his staples or whatever. He like running running jet sweeps with receivers. But I just don't I hope that he don't do like last year did with Brashad last year to where every time he was on the field. You could basically shift your whole team to the other side of the field because you knew what play they was from the run. Right. He had right. like two. He had two plays. He scored on it on the on one of them two plays, but he had two, he had two plays. <laughs> I don't know why he kept that. Was, yeah, it was so it was so obvious though, dog. I don't know. I don't know why it was so obvious. Why why he did it like that? <sighs> so you had know you want to talk about big dog? Nah, I'm just I'm at work, not working, so. <laughs> So listen, um, if you just get in here, yeah, work. Uh, what, what kind of work, work you do? If you just getting in here, I was late today, so you can get an IMD squad for twenty dollars until the end of the show. The show about to end here shortly. 
So you can get in for twenty dollars. It's pinned at the top of the YouTube to the end of the show because I was late. The show gonna start at eleven thirty every day. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 the plan. But today, it just was all bad. It was all bad today. So punishing myself, well, it's not punishment, but give you guys something. You can get in for twenty dollars uh, until the end of the show. Until I get on there to be able to take it take it down and put it back to the regular price. Um, Seven eight six four five nine four nine nine. If you don't know how to find the link at the top of the comment section, um, I, I don't know. Brandon Tux was lost or something. He said he was looking for a different link. Um, depth dog competition. You feel me? Um, depth competition is it's a good thing to have. I, I don't know how we did it when we was great. We I guess we were so spoiled we didn't even look at it like that. Um. Kelly Winslow sitting on the bench waiting his turn. Sean Taylor playing special teams. I guess we never really thought of it that way, but that's what it is when your team is good. Um, so everybody ain't going to get a chance to play. Uh, we sat down with Chase, and Chase said he not sure why he didn't play. He understood the plays. He he kind of had a rough start, you know what I'm saying, on the field. He said they, they wanted to make him – when he first got there, they tried to make him Greg Russo. They wanted to put him at the end. They wanted to make him big. Put a bunch of weight on him. And he didn't do it. I don't know. Maybe they got maybe maybe they got pissed at him and because he wasn't doing what they tell him to do it. Then they just said, "Man, you do what we tell you to do, or you ain't gonna play." But he felt he didn't want to go down there and play in. Um, but yeah, I, when Smart your team man. is good, huh? you, you wouldn't like him at in. I mean, it's it's out of position for him. He he played like a what like a stand up outside linebacker. Yeah. He said, "Yeah, and, and he said that's what, that's what that's what he wanted to play. You know what I'm saying? That was, that's his thing. That's what he wanted to play. Um, and yeah, they was asking him to put on weight to put him somewhere else, and he didn't like it. Hey, they in the comment section asking about running backs. What you I think, think about? Miami needed Frank. We good at wide receiver." <laughs> Uh, depth competition, dog. What I think about running backs? Yeah, I believe Henry Parrish coming in here with his running back coach has a chip on his shoulder, and we finna see an all-out fight, dog. Don Cheney, um, his back is against the wall, so I know. Um, I'm sure he. I, I'm sure he is itching to get back on the field. And Rooster, what he showed us last year with the opportunity he had, I guess it's according on some, according on what type of back Gaddis them wants. Um, that would have a lot to do with it. Which but I, know, I like, think. Go ahead. I know both like Mario and Gaddis. Like when Mario was at Oregon, they used like basically probably like three backs. Mostly two, mostly two backs, and it's uh -huh. kind of the same at uh, with Gaddis and Michigan. Michigan used like two backs, so I think you'll see at least two. But I don't know who gonna get their feet cut off, cause I I see one of them. I see some, well, one of the younger backs probably transferring out if they don't get their way by the summer that because the room's so crowded. Me. Yeah. Right. Um, so to be to be honest, Rooster is the only one that showed us something. I mean, it is done. The, the, the jury's still out on Dunn. If Dunn stay healthy, does Dunn have the year that Rooster had last year? We don't know. Rooster took advantage of an opportunity. He set out five games. Maybe that made him hungry. But I'm telling y'all this, man. Henry Parrish is Henry Parrish coming in with a chip on his shoulder because these are two dudes that got recruited above him. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he about to push them boys. Dad has all the talent in the world. Dad um, has to be mentally tough, and I don't think this regime is going to put up with. So Dad has had to mature. He um, um, he's going to have to mature because um, I don't think this regime is going to put up with the BS. Yes. Right? Besides, you got the transfer portal. You can get back. You can double down, and you can build depth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so with all the talent in the world that Dad has, it's not always just your talent. 
obvious. Somebody say Paris number two. Knighton and Paris, top two backs. Cheney is a wild card. I know that's crazy that Paris got his Paris. What Paris got on his side is that that's his coach. You feel me? Yeah. Kind of the same as the cornerback that just came. Yeah, he kind of got that on the side, dog. I ain't gonna lie. So listen, man. Um, it's Friday, dog. I'm gonna roll up out of here. Anything else, man? Y'all be trying to pass, dog. Nah, I'm good. I'm about to take me a quick little nap before five o'clock. <laughs> hey man, say he at work about to take a nap, man. Go on at all, man. All right, appreciate you, dog. <laughs> man, say he at work about to take a nap. <laughs> he said, tripping, man. At work about to take a dirt on nap. So listen, man, I'm gonna leave y'all with this. It's Friday. Y'all got about 30 minutes to log on and get on ILD for 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna shut this thing down. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. A lot of y'all seen it before, man, but this dude is funny as crap. Really is. I'm D Man and I'm up out of here. This is what saving looks like. I'm gonna tell you some unrealistic bullshit to make you be like, oh, that's what I gotta do. I'm about to give you the game right now. I met a millionaire. I sat down with him and I just talked to him for like a couple hours. I was in Africa. Changed my mindset. And he was telling me, he said, see what happens is when you come from poverty, desperation and lack is your mindset. So you want to hold on to something, right? That's the thought process of I'm saving my money, right? I'm going to save my money. No, dude, I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. Saving is a terrible thing to do, people. This is what saving looks like. This is life. This is liabilities. This is, you know vacations and bills and unexpected bills and a woman and here come a child and let this just get bigger and bigger and bigger that's life investing looks like this and in investing it should look like this why this is the, on the right side is small investing is this investing is growth it's growth saving is not that's what i learned and the man told me he said when you take your money and put it in the bank this fucked me up right here he said, how do you think the bank makes so much money? Most of us think it's because of the interest rate. Man, the interest rate, man. It can't be for, for the interest rate because motherfuckers like me, I, I didn't used to pay my shit. My shit was in collections. I don't know about y'all. I don't know how hood and ratchet y'all was or is, but me, I don't want them. I, hey, man, y'all got to get that shit in blood, man. So I know y'all can't get rich off motherfuckers like me because I wasn't paying it. So how the bank so rich? When you take your money and you set the money in the bank account, as soon as you set that money in the bank account and sign that paper, deposit slip, and it goes through the thing, guess what? The bank started trading on your money instantly. Here goes my $3,500 paycheck. Yes, yeah, sir, rebound. And then you're like, okay, thank you. Have a good day, girl. I'm going to leave it in there. I'm going to just save it. You saving it. It's collecting dust for you. Before you get out the bank, they trading your money. So your $3,500 is $15,000 before the day even ends. Maybe in a, in the, within an hour, they've turned your thirty five hundred into fifteen thousand. But if you come back into that bank and say, "Let me see what I got in my bank account," it's gonna be the thirty five hundred you put in there. So they're making a profit off of your money every fucking hour, and you ain't gonna get none of that. You just saving, baby. <laughs> you being pimped. Most of my money don't even see the bank. The bank, y'all. <laughs> Y'all ain't y'all ain't gonna trade my motherfucking money. I'ma trade my money. What the fuck I look like letting you get all the profit and I come in there and got the same thing sitting there looking at me like say it was and I put it in there. You got me fucked up. Most of us don't know that. See, back in the day, you had to have a million dollars. You had to be in Wall Street to be able to trade. So we didn't have this opportunity back in the day, people. And I ain't just talking about black people. I'm talking about people that don't have shit. I'm talking about people that are not in the one percentile. No matter what color you are, that's the real shit. Where do you fit at in this world in the tax bracket? <laughs> okay? All the race shit. We think that's what it is by that bag, people. Now, in 2021, I don't have to have a million dollars. I don't have to have my daddy, 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 daddy who got me and signed me and brought me into Wall Street with my pseudo on the trade. And, and I don't have to do that. I can trade with a hundred dollars. Like this shit is wide the fuck open.
my boy, back to him, who trades for me, said to me the other day, he said, bro, you know, I don't get what well, I don't get about you. He said, you're a very smart dude, man. But my question is, why do you allow me to trade for you? You didn't want the bank to do it for you. Because when he trades for me now, he get a cut of my money. Why would you want me to trade for you? Right? Well, you know you my brother. I'm going to give you all the game. Why aren't you saying, Mike, teach me how to trade so I can trade and keep 100% of the profit? Why not, Mike? And I had to be honest with myself. It's the same reason most of us out here know that we can trade now. It ain't like back in the day, but we don't want to do it. It's because I was scared. I was afraid. Because when I see <laughs> them motherfucking wiggly lines and shit, it look like wiggly lines to me. Wiggly lines and numbers and digits and, and graphs and shit. I'm like, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> Not public school, Mike. <laughs> That's a little too much for me. I don't know that. It, it, it seems, you know, I don't know what that is. I don't know how to do that. I don't know if I could learn that. And guess what came to my mind? This is going to hit you in the heart right here. This is going to fuck you up. When you went to that job that you're doing right now that you don't even like, you didn't know how to do it. All that shit looked foreign to you. But guess what they said to you? Don't worry. We're going to teach you how to do it. Yeah, yeah, we got a whole program for your ass that ain't never seen this before. Don't you worry about it, Michael. Yeah, we have orientation. Oh, we got this shit broken down. See, it's foreign right now, but in a, in 90 days, oh, nigga, you're going to be cold at this shit. We're going to teach you something you don't know how to do that's foreign to you to come in here and make this other motherfucker rich. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> That's the game. So why am I not afraid to come learn that shit to make this big sloppy sandwich on a yacht somewhere 